In this video, we're going to be discussing the jet boil base camp system along with the Luna satellite and one liter jet boil cup with the coffee press. Let's get started. Hey YouTube, this is Robert from Sherburn Outdoors. Welcome back to the channel. We are inside today. As you can see, we've got the stove going over there from our big buddy. It is freezing here. It's November, it's 37 degrees outside. And so normally I would do this outside, but you know we're going inside because it's so cold. Uh, so we're gonna be going through the jet boil system. Now, if you see here, I've got a whole bunch of stuff on the table. This is what I've been taking out camping for the last several years. We've got a pop-up kettle from Cedar to Summit you've seen. I've got a pop-up five liter pot. It's got some drainage in the top. It's got some sophistication flux under it. Actually, which the uh, jet boil system has. Another set of pots. I've got a big coffee pot that we've been using. I've got a coffee press from GSI that I've been using. And then we've got our Coleman Triton that is trusted and true that we've been using for several years. Did a video pretty much on all this stuff. Uh, and so this is where I've been camping. But in, in recent months, you saw when we got the Rome Adventure boxes that I really wanted to shrink everything down. Now shrinking everything down generally comes with a price tag and this is no exception. I'll get into the pricing functions of this jet boil in a second. We're replacing all of this with this. Simple, one liter, and then a jet boil base system. It's a lot smaller, it's actually a lot more expensive. Okay, so I've got two main components from the, uh, the Jet Boil family of products that I purchased. One is the base camp, and then what is this one liter adapter that goes with the Luna satellite, which is all inside here. We'll get to that in a second because I did expand the base system. Let's put that over to the side. Let's take a look at what we got here. So this is pretty dense. They say it weighs about nine pounds, the internal systems. With the, with the pods, everything, I think we're about 10 or 11 is kind of what I was estimating off their site. But it's a, good, it's a good bag. It fits good, it fits good in the Roam cases. So I've been pretty, pretty happy with it. Let's open it up, take a look. It's got some padding in it as well. And then when you open it up, it's, it's very compact. So let's take off the very first thing. So we've got a 10 inch skillet. It's got some pop out handles. I gotta be honest with you, this is just kind of a coated skillet. Nothing major, you know, nothing I couldn't buy at any other store. Doesn't look like it has any technology to it. it does say jet oil. But, um, you yeah, know, it's pretty basic. Comes with it, fits in the, in the package good. Let's just put that over the side. Does have a plastic lid with a uh, handle that pops up. That's pretty nice. And it does also have an integrated drain system so that you could, you could put it up and drain out if you're cooking pasta or something like that. All right, inside is the jet boil system. Wow, that is dense. Holy cow. Uh, let's just put that down, but this is where all the technology is. It's this bright orange color, doesn't come in any others. Let's put that there. I will tell you, this seems to be where all of the weight is coming. And then we got a five liter, five liter pan here for boiling stuff. And it's got this uh, aluminum technology along the bottom. Apparently it allows you to boil really, really fast. So let's put that over to the side as well. And then it comes with this, for as expensive as this is, and we'll get into that, it comes with this really cheap windscreen. I looked at this, I kind of, you, there's some bottom pieces here in, in the feet that you plug this into. I gotta be honest with you. I, I do all my cooking on the tailgate. I pretty much can get rid of the wind. I don't know that I would ever use this thing. I'll keep it in here just as a unit, but so far I've been impressed with everything except this. You're talking upwards of a mid $500 system that I have in place here. And this is just really cheap. Anyway, all right, let's get into the, the rest of it. So that's the last thing that's in this bag that it comes with is actually the adapter to go to the one pounder propane. It's got the red lighter built into it, and we'll put that over to the side here. And so that's the system. Put that up on the bike. Now let's look at this. So this is really well built, I will tell you. It looks well built. It's held together. It's a sandwich system. So it's got these latches right here, and you pull these rubber off of them like so, and then it, uh, it pops out. And it gives you some indications on the side here. This is the output. 
and this is the input, meaning where the uh, fuel will come in. So we'll put the fuel on this side. I like the input to come in this side and the output to go out that side. And so this is your basic stuff. I will tell you, these feet are these the latches, these rubber latches. I'm just going to put them on the bottom. I'm concerned about them. I'm trying to be careful when I use them. So this has gotten some use. I have been out on the trail with this. I didn't want to just do an unboxing and kind of show it. I actually wanted to go out and I did about three trips uh, at various places in the Chattahoochee National Forest and this thing performed flawlessly. It is freaking awesome. Let's put it together and, uh, and kind of run through a couple tests with you. All right, if you're looking at this from the top, I mean, it's got really good burners. I could have done a better job cleaning it recently, but it's got, it's got these uh, aluminum inserts where the burner is up so that if you do get leakage, it just sits in this pan right here and you can wipe it out. Everything's up and nice. It does have manual starts here, so you don't have to use our ignition start. You can see them coming right here for igniting the pop right there. So when you do have the propane hooked up to it, and then cleaning these is relatively painless. You can actually just pop these real out, and this, this grate pops out of the system very easily. Once you're done, you just put it back in here, and it just pops right back into the system like so. Really good system, really easy to use. So let's hook up the, uh, the propane, go ahead and fire this thing up and get it ready. You just got your basic adapter uh, that goes into here. You just plug it into the fuel input side, which is right here. And you just screw it on and then we screw it onto the one pounders. And so now we have all of our fuel entry. And we'll just pop this right in to start cooking. We've got our one pounder hooked up here. It is about half full. I will say I've done at least two to three meals per trip. I've only used about half of this. So I'm estimating one of these one pounders will last me five to six trips. But again, looking at the, sim at the system, it's very simple. We've got two burners right now. We've got an input. We do have an output over here, which we can get to in a minute because we're gonna hook up the Jetfoil Luna satellite system to that. But if you do want a third burner just like this, they do sell that as an option. So firing these up is very, very simple. Now, one thing I will say about these systems is these burners right here, they actually turn four times. So you can get very, very, very good precision. And it's fired up, it's fired up. I will say the ignition switches, I've never had to click it more than one time. And it has always fired up. So let's just go ahead and turn that off. We're gonna run some tests here on, on boiling some water. But uh, that's how you set up both of these. And that, as far as technology wise, that's how this goes. Some specs on this, again, all of this together weighs about 10 pounds. These are 10,000 BTU stove systems. So you can really boil some water. Let's show you what we can do in a minute with doing the coffee side, which I know I can do in under three and a half minutes. This is a five liter pot. I was thinking we'd put it on here and actually boil up uh, three liters of water and see what happens. All right, we got three liters of water in our five liter pan. We've got our timer ready to go. Let's see how long using this one burner it, it takes to get going. Let's fire this thing up all the way to the very top. Kind of hear it get going. And we are off and running. Let's hit our start button and see how long it takes. All right, so we're about eight minutes and 30 seconds. Got the jet foil going pretty strong. I do have the plastic top on it. You can see it's starting to really steam out really good. We've got a good boil going in here. Let's just put this over here. And that is ideal. I mean, look at that go. Now, one thing to note, this flux technology they have around the bottom, I have this thing maxed out. Again, we went about eight minutes and 30 seconds for doing cold to, uh, three liters of water out of the gate. I love this, this technology. My hand is right here like an inch away. It's, it's a little warm, but I can keep it here the entire day. This thing is maxed out. So I've done a couple meals on here so far, different ones. If, it, if you've followed the channel at all, remember we did steak fajitas one night. Great. Did a complete thing. Used only the 10 inch can for this. This is actually my first time doing this. We've done sausage with sunny side up eggs. Worked really, really well for breakfast. And I also have this griddle right here. We've actually done French toast where we put this across both of these. Worked really, really well. I could fit three pieces on here very easily. It was a great, great breakfast. 
So I tell you what, let's switch gears now and let's move from this and let's turn this guy off. And let's talk about the expansion, taking things of this output and adding a third burner. Hey, let's look at, let's talk about this piece that's been sitting over here at the side, this one liter jet boil cup. And you know, what we're gonna do with that. I've been talking about having a third burner. This is a great, great system that jet boil has. You know, they, they really come from the camping environment and are kind of the backpacking, so they're really good at putting things together. So, you guys know that I love coffee on our trips. Uh, and so that was a game changer for me as far as having to have coffee in a smaller package, but still having the quality I was looking for. So this one liter, it includes the French press pieces. We'll put that together. And it includes the stove itself. This is amazing. So. This is the Luna satellite. Let's pop it out like so. And it is a self-standing system with an electric uh, that you pull off to the side here. You got your adjustments and then you've got your starter. And this plugs into this output that we looked at before. So once this is deployed and out of the one liter cup and we've got the feet sitting still and we've got our adjustment here and then we've got our starter here. We can just very easily, and remember this has to be in the output. So this says jet link output, just insert that in, just screws directly in. If we had a third burner option like this, this would be the exact same thing it would work like so. We don't have to do any other adjustments, that's it. Now that we have this thing in place, it is ready to operate. And again, we've got our flame, so if I were to you can hear it kick in, and now we've got our flame up and running. So now we've got our Jetboil one liter cup sitting on top of our Luna satellite system, and I did put in two cups of water, which is what I use for uh, making coffee that I'm gonna use for with my French press when we're out on the trail. If you look here, here's some footage of that moving where we actually make it, boil it, stir it, French press it, and then pour it. You know, pretty, pretty simple. But how that works is we just fire this thing up and you can kind of hear it kick in. Go ahead and launch it up and we are off. Let's go ahead and start our timer. Let's see how long it takes this two cups to get going so we know how long it's gonna take us to start our coffee anymore. So it looks like we're running right around two minutes to two minutes 10 and this thing is boiling hardcore. Go ahead and turn this thing off. We'll get water everywhere. So now we have boiling water in two minutes to make a coffee. That is spectacular. And then we would start our process. So now that our coffee is, water's made, we do all of our stuff. Just like uh, in previous videos, we'd, we'd drop in the coffee grinds, we'd stir it up, we'd wait four minutes, and then we would do our French press. And I will tell you, this French press is amazing. It's a screw-in system because it does all fit together. And so you put it in here like so, and then we just fit it right in. Make sure our pour spout is opposite of our handle, and voila. And when we're ready to go, we just push our coffee down. And that is the, uh, the Luna expansion with the one liter cup uh, jet boil, as well as the uh, integrated coffee press. All right, I find this jet boil system to be amazing. After three trips out and about, making all of the different meals that we made and its ability to be so compact, I am really, really happy with this purchase. So with that said, how much does this stuff cost? It is super expensive. Uh, Jetpool did not sponsor this, I paid my own money for that. So with that said, the base camp system here, which is all of this, including the bag, the pots, the, the burners, the adapters, that is $389.99. Cha ching Now, the Luna adder off to the side, not, not the cups, not anything else, just this piece right here for the third burner that we can put the cup in is $69.95. The cup itself to the right here is $59.95. Again, that is a one liter cup. And then the French press that goes inside of it is actually separate as well and it is $18.95 for a grand total of $538.84. Holy That is a crazy amount of money. Is it worth it? You know what, I think it is worth it. 
I, I've been really happy with how fast this thing sets up. I've been really, really happy with how it deploys on the tailgate of my truck. It's very simply to set up. Love how fast this thing makes coffee in the morning, and I really love how the system integrates together. I don't anticipate me needing a stove for years. That Coleman Triton has lasted me years and years. It's been a great stove. But again, I was looking at putting things in a smaller package. So would I buy it all again? You bet I would. It's great stuff. Hey, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and click that like button. Please hit the subscribe. We're almost to our thousand subscribers. We've been working hard for the last couple years, but uh, everything's been moving fast. And click that like button to be notified when we got new content coming out. We have new videos every week. All right, thanks for your time.